。您现在收看的是华视教育文化频道。接下来要播出的是《智慧与阅读一》。Welcome to Vocabulary and Reading Program. I'm Florence. This is the first time for us to meet you here, and we'll be talking about a lot of interesting topics here. Before we start, let's welcome our guest speaker, Terry. Hi,、welcome. Florence. Hi, Terry. Nice to meet you here. Thank you. Okay, so can you introduce yourself a little bit? Sure. Okay. I'm Terry. I'm from Canada. I currently work here in Taiwan. I've been in Taiwan for about 13 years or so,、mm -hmm. and、uh, I currently host the morning show on ICRT radio station. 各位同学，大家好，我是邱怡慧，欢迎大家收看智慧阅读一的课程。这是我们这学期第一次与大家相见。我们特别高兴，请到呃今天的特别来宾是 Terry 老师。那 Terry 老师呢，他是 ICRT morning show 的 DJ。那他是从加拿大来的，嗯，然后来台湾已经十三年了、嗯，那非常高兴能请到 Terry 老师来这边帮我们讲解课文。好，现在呢，我们先开始我们今天呃这个学期的课程大纲的部分。首先，我们先看一下有关于我们的课程的编排的方式，我们会看到有关于主题的部分。第一个主题呢，是有关于美国求学求学的专题。那在这个专题里面呢，我们会看到，就是同学如果以后要去美国念书，或者是其他英语系国家，或者是其他的国外念书的时候，会碰到的一些议题。在第二个主题的时候，我们会看到的是有关于 education 教育的方式。那在这一课里面，在这个主题里面，我们会提到两篇文章。第一篇文章是呃非常有名的《虎妈战歌》这本书，然后另外还会再谈到美国中学的一个实验课程。接下来我们要看的是第三个主题，是有关于电脑科技的部分。在这边我们会看到两篇文章，一篇是有关于 Apple 电脑贾伯斯。还有 Google 总裁人事异动的情形。另外一篇文章是有关于电脑用语的部分。再来，我们看的第四个主题是有关于环游世界的部分。环游世界部分，我们会先介绍美国总统奥巴马，然后再介绍他当律师的时候所居住的城市芝加哥。再来，我们会看一篇有关于英国皇室婚礼的情况。最后我们会介绍的是儿童文学作品的导读。在我们这本书里面，我们会介绍《爱丽丝梦游仙境》前面两个章节。那我希望同学能借由不同的主题，增加自己阅读的兴趣，并而能多增加一些智慧量。我们现在就开始今天的课程。我们首先先请 Terry 老师帮我们念一下第一段的课文。Sure, I'll be reading the first paragraph. In which a teacher writes a short letter concerning personal finance in education. A question from the teacher. Susanna Wesson writes, "I teach English to French students of engineering who benefit very much from your foreign student series. Could you do a program on money, banking, and shopping for students in the U.S.? Many colleges and universities in the United States have guidelines for what they consider reasonable budgets." For personal spending. 同学，我们来看一下这一段课文里面的单词。首先，我们先来看一下第一个单词。Engineering, for example, Tom has an engineering degree. 好 ，engineering 是工程的意思。那比方说，就是 Tom 是有一个工程的学位。在 next one. Benefit. It is a benefit to have a graduate degree. 好 ，benefit， 它这边的话是呃，刚刚呃，天老师用的是名词用法。But how about the verb? 
to benefit from something. Oh, okay. That to if the next one is the benefit from something, or the benefit from something. How about next one?、Mm -hmm. Foreign student series. 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 We are currently studying a series of books. Okay. 那这边的话，请看一下，这边事实上是呃，我们在这个课文里面，它是从《Voice of America》里面的一个专辑、一个专栏的部分的一篇文章，所以它算是一个外国学生专辑的部分。再来 ，Next one. Guideline. We must follow the guidelines if we want to benefit from this series. Oh, okay, good. Uh, guideline. 这边话是指导方针或者是一个原则的部分 Next one. Consider. Please consider using this series to help your English. Oh, okay. 我们可以看到 consider 的话是考虑一下。那这边的话就是说，请你考虑一下，就是用这个这样子的一个专辑，然后继续来学英文。再来 next one. Reasonable. You can find this series at a very reasonable price. Okay. 那我们 Terry 老师刚刚又用这样子同样的单词一直不断的在做 recycle， 就是同样的一呃单词一直不断的造不同的句子。那这边的话 ，reasonable 就是合理的意思。再来 next one. Budget. It is important to set out a budget so you don't overspend money. Okay, budget 这边话是预算的意思，就是希望同学平常都要有预算的观念，才不会 overspend， 就是超支的意思。再来 ，next one. Spending. Government spending can be too much sometimes. <笑> okay, 这边 spending 的话是说开销花费的意思，那这边是说政府的花费有时候可能会过多了一点。好，那我们接下来我们先问一下 Taylor 老师一些问题。Could you please tell us about a bit about your college life?、Uh, did you study in Canada before? I studied in Canada in London, Ontario, before coming to Taiwan. Here, I've also studied here in Taiwan. Wow! I studied a graduate degree here in Taiwan. Oh. In Kaohsiung. Oh. Okay. And、uh, yeah, I studied music production、mm -hmm. in Canada, and I studied linguistics here in Taiwan. Oh. Okay. Good. 好，刚刚 Terry 老师，我们来解释一下，他刚刚是说，我们刚刚的问题是说，可不可以请他介绍一下他的 college life？ 那他刚刚提到的，他是在 Canada， 就是在加拿大念书，那是在 London Ontario， right？ Correct。OK， London。事实上，大家知道 London 的话是伦敦的意思，那那是英国的呃首都，那在这边的话是指 Ontario。Yeah。OK。Not the London, England. The London、okay. in Canada. <laughs> okay. So, in Canada, it has another city called London. London means London. Okay. So, he is studying music production, which is the part of music production. He also mentioned that he has a degree in Kaohsiung. It means a degree. D E G R E E. That here is linguistics, right?、Uh, that's right.、Uh, cognitive linguistics. I studied my masters. Oh. At,、uh, OK， 刚刚 Terry 老师有提到了，就是他是在高师大念呃认知语言学的，那这是一个非常深奥的学问。好，同学，我们现在来看回来第一段的课文内容的部分，我们来解释一下这边的大意。首先，同学看到这边其实是一个老师提出的一个问题，然后呢，他希望是能给他的学生，就是有关于呃 French students of engineering。就是是法国学生，但是他们主修是工程。那他们觉得受惠于这个 series 非常的多 ，benefit 什么什么的 from， 这是一个用片语的用法。那这边有提到 foreign student series， 就是所谓的外国学生的特辑。另外呢，同学可以看到这边提出一个问题，就说是不是可以针对 money banking。还有 shopping 这几个议题呢，能做一个 program 给这些外国学生。那所以呢，这个地方同学可以看到，其实很多的在美国的大学还有学院呢，事实上他们都会有一个 guidelines， 就是所谓的一个指导的方针，方针可以让他们知道说什么是 reasonable budget。For personal spending, 就是对于个人消费预算来说，是否是有合理的预算？他们事实上都会有一个指导的原则。
。那我想这个部分的话，就是非常重要的。我们先休息一下，等一下回来再看第二段。Welcome back， 同学，我们现在接下来看一下下面一段第二段的课文的内容。我们先请 Terry 老师帮我们念一下。I'll now read the、uh, second paragraph in which they discuss the best way to budget for your education. Senem Bakar is the assistant director of the International Student Services at American University in Washington D.C. She suggests. That students budget at least one thousand three hundred dollars for a nine-month school year. This will help pay for things like transportation, telephone bills, supplies, and entertainment. 好，我们现在看回来，呃，这段课文里面有一些单词。首先，我们先来了解一下第一个单词。Assistant. He is an assistant director at the television studio. Oh, okay. 我们来看一下这句话 ，assistant 的话其实是有非常多的意思，助理呀、啊，然后或者是他刚刚刚 Terry 老师所说的 assistant director， 就是助理的，比方说导播之类的。好，然后呢，再来下面的话，下一个单词是 director. He is the director of a movie. OK， 在这边的话 ，director 其实有非常多种的意思。那同学可以知道，就是 director 其实也是导演的意思。那刚刚其实老师用的方法就是导演的意思。再来 ，next one。Suggest. Could you suggest a restaurant for me to eat at? Wow. OK. Suggest 是说建议的意思，就是说，呃，可不可以请你建议一家餐厅，我可以去外面吃饭呢？好，再来 ，next one。At least, at least we have a sunny day today. Oh, okay. We have a sunny days every day. <laughs> okay. At least 是说至少的意思，就是至少 sunny day 就是晴天的意思。Okay.、Mm-hmm. 再来 next one. Transportation. Transportation costs. Are very cheap here in Taipei. Oh, really? Yeah, I think so. Oh, okay. 刚刚 Terry 老师他是用的 transportation cost， 就是说那个交通费的部分哦，就是在这边交通费是相当便宜的。Okay, how about next one? Bill. We usually get a bill at the end of a meal in a restaurant. Okay. 呃、uh, ，这边的话 ，bill 是说账单的意思，就是说在餐厅里面用餐，在吃完一餐之后，我们通常会拿到一个 bill， 就是账单的意思。Next one, please. Supply. Supply. We need supplies to do certain jobs. Okay, such as. Such as, well, the supplies for a, a woodworker might be a hammer and nails or something、okay. like this. If I was a student, my supplies might be pens and papers. These okay. Things. Okay. 这边的话 ，supplies 是说生活用品的意思。那刚刚 Terry 老师有提到，如果是学生的话，可能就是需要纸笔之类的，就是所谓的 supplies。那 Do we have to use a plural noun? Uh, usually, I think we would like to talk about it.、Um, a supply would be a measure word. A supply of pens, a supply、okay. of、uh, paper, something like this. But if we're talking about the paper itself, yes, supplies would be、okay. the word we use. Okay. So we usually use a plural form. Okay. How about next one? Entertainment. Taipei has a lot of entertainment. That's、okay. for sure. OK， 就是在台北呢，世上有很多种不同的娱乐的方式。好，那我们现在呢，再看回我们课文的内容的部分，我们来了解一下这一段的课文的大意。首先，我们先来看一下，在这边的话 s a n o n Baker， 他这是一个人名，然后呢，他是一个 Assistant Director， 这边的话就是我们刚刚提到的，有点像助理的处长之类的。那他是服务的机构是叫做 International Student Services。这边的话就是，通常在大学里面会有一个外国学生的服务处，或者是说像 International Student Office， 类似像这样子一个地方。那这个大学叫做 American University， 它是在 Washington D.C.， 就是美国华府特区的地方。那他建议的方式是说 ，Student Budget。At least one thousand three hundred dollars. 我们可以看到，他建议学生呢预算的部分至少是
，如果是以一个年，就是一个学年度来看的话，一个学年度是 nine month school year， 这边是指九个月的一个学年度的话，至少你的预算要抓大概是一千三百美元。那这些的话会 pay for things like transportation, telephone bills. 我们可以看到这边的话是可以支付交通费，还有电话费，还有生活的用品，还有娱乐等的项目。OK， 所以呢，我们来看一下，问一下 Terry 老师 ，What do you think of the price here? Because she suggests that it's like a one thousand and three hundred dollars. A school year. I don't think that would last very long, to be honest with you. Okay. No, I don't think so at all. If you uh, include entertainment mm -hmm. and transportation, supplies, your food, these type of things, one thousand three hundred dollars not going to get you very far. <laughs> I don't think. Okay. 我们来看一下，刚刚 Terry 老师说这个价钱，这个这个金额实在是有点少。他刚刚老师是说 it, it will not last long， 就是不会维持很久的意思。那我想这个大家应该也知道，一个月的生活费大概需要花多少的钱。Okay, so what do you think of the living expenses here in Taiwan? Well, the living expenses I think are actually very reasonable compared to other countries. I think things like public transportation and eating out are actually very reasonable. Even the rent for um, for your apartment is also very reasonable. I still don't think that forty thousand NT <laughs> would cover nine months for okay. you, but um, uh -huh. uh, but it is very reasonable here. Your money goes a long way. 嗯哼 ，OK， 我们来刚刚听听到老师一直不断的在强调我们之前所学过的单词 reasonable， 就是非常合理的意思。那刚刚老师有提到像 transportation 交通费啊 ，rent R E N T 就是所谓的租金的意思。那租金这个部分的话，也是就是非常 reasonable。所以呢，其实对他来说的话，他觉得就是每样那个价钱都是非常合理的。但是呢。但是，如果是四万块台币要一年生活的话，实在是不太可能的事情。If this is the amount of money you have, you've got to be、uh, very careful with your money, I think. Yes, OK， 就是就是这个价这个金额实在是有点少，所以你必须要好好的做好自己的预算的部分。好，那我们现在来看一下，我们还有下面一段的课文的内容，我们再请 Terry 老师帮我们念一下。All right, in this、uh, particular paragraph. We will talk about some further advice. Paul Butler is the financial manager in the Office of International Services at Indiana University Bloomington. He says the advice is to have at least two thousand four hundred dollars for twelve months in the United States. 接下来我们来看一下这段里面的单词。首先，我们先来看第一个单词的部分。Financial manager. Financial manager is necessary to,、uh, you know, handle your money. Oh, okay. If you have a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, 刚刚 Terry 老师是说，就是 financial manager 就是财务的经理的意思。那他是会帮我们 handle， 就是处理的意思，处理你的金钱的部分。如果你有很多的话。Okay. How about next one? Advice. Please give me some advice on how I should、uh, spend my money. Okay, uh, give some advice. 就是说可以给一些建议，忠告的意思。好，那我们等一下还有呃，再继续介绍这个 advice 的用法。我们先休息一下。Welcome back. 呃，同学，我们现在呃再来看一下第三段的中文的翻译的部分。我们先看这一段里面刚,刚有提到的，在第二段里面已经有提到 assistant director， 他所说的一个金额大概是九个月是花一万呃一千三百美元。但是呢，在这个第三段的地方，则是另外一个 financial manager， 就是所谓的财务经理呢，他建议是说十二个月大概要两千四百美元。所以我想这个课文呢是帮助我们先去讨。讨论，然后多了解一下有关于这个学校校园方面的一个呃理财的部分。那我们现在先问一下 Terry 老师 ，What do you think of the price? Because one said it's about one thousand three hundred dollars, and the other one says it's about two thousand four hundred dollars for the year. Yeah, I think both of them are are、uh, pretty low.、Mm -hmm. Obviously, it depends. Each person is going to be different,、mm -hmm. and、uh, the more you can save, the better, of course. 
Now, uh, maybe one of the big differences between studying in the mm -hmm. States and studying here in Taiwan is a lot of time in the States, uh, we spend our own money as students. Uh -huh. So we learn to be very uh, thrifty. Uh -huh. We learn how to save money. Mm -hmm. And we do so by attending you know, student night at the movies or looking for some special prices, something uh -huh. like this. But still, $2,400 in one year, that's only about uh, 70,000 NT. Yes. That's, that's not a lot of money to spend in one year. You have to be very, <laughs> very, very thrifty if you're only going to spend $70,000 in, in one year in, in America. OK， 呃，刚刚 Terry 老师有提到了，就是说呢，其实两个呃金额来说，其实呢都是非常的低。然后呢，他刚提到这样子的话，如果是有关于呃两千四百美元的话，大概就是七万二台币左右。那刚刚呃 Terry 老师有提到，比方说在北美国家的话，可能学生都会知道怎么样去做非常节省的一个部分哦。比方说就是会有一些 special 的一个 concert， 或者是有一些活动的部分。You just mentioned one word, a thrifty. Thrifty、yes. means to、uh, save money or to、uh, not spend a lot. Learn how to、uh, save it. OK， 刚刚 Terry 老师有提到，就是这个字的话，就是要节省的意思，不要花太多的钱。How do you spell it? T H R I F T Y. OK， 就是同学可以把它记下来。T H R I F。T Y 节省的意思。好，那我们接下来呢？我们还会再想了解一下 Terry 老师，就是在加拿大念书的时候，是不是呃是住校呢，还是住在外面？也许这个跟自己所呃所个人的花费是有很大的关系。So when you were a student, did you live in the dorm or you, did you live off campus? Well, I lived off campus. I think. A lot of students will live in the dorm only in their first year,、mm -hmm. uh, just because maybe they're not used to being away from home.、Mm -hmm. But of course, when we go to school, this is an opportunity for us to be independent, and、uh -huh. uh, many of us like to live off campus. Living off campus also means、uh, maybe maybe saving a little bit of money if we can find a cheaper housing.、Oh, really? Also means maybe living with some of our friends to make things easier. <laughs> Also gives us a little fewer restrictions. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So uh, those who are brave enough to kind of want to be independent right from the start of school will choose to live off campus.、Okay. It, it might also depend on、uh, transportation and how they're going to get to school and、okay. things like that. Okay. Okay. 好，刚刚 Terry 老师呢有提到了，就是我刚刚问的问题是说他是不是 live。In the dorm, dorm 的话是 dormitory， 就是宿舍的意思。那另外的话就是 off campus， 就是住在校外的意思。那刚刚 Terry 老师有提到，通常呢，呃，就会住在宿舍的人都是第一年的时候可能会住在宿宿舍里面，可能会不太习惯，所以需要住在宿舍里面。但是呢，通常会住在校外的话 ，off campus 的话，第一个就是如果你可以找到便宜一点的房子的话，事实上你可以 save。Money. 那另外呢，就是呢，可以跟朋友住在一起，所以呢，有 fewer restrictions, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, 就是比较少的限制。那同学就是如果想要在国外念书的话，当然就是希望自由自在。那这个地方的话，就是刚刚 Terry 老师跟我们的一些有关于在国外念书的一些情形。那也希望同学就是可能就是可以了解一下这些单字的用法，还有那些概念。那接下来的话，我们会看一些有关于呃课文字汇补充的部分。比方说，我们刚刚提到有 college 跟 colleague 这两个字拼字部分的话，事实上是很像的。那我们请 t e r r 老师可能帮我们示范一下这个发音的部分，然后帮我们做一下解释。首先，我们先请 t e r r 老师帮我们念一下字板上面的这两个单字 ：college and colleague。Now these are two words that people will often confuse、yes. because they look very similar. Of course,、mm -hmm. college、uh, is similar to a university.、Mm -hmm. uh, a colleague, however, is somebody who we work with.、Yes. Uh, maybe not necessarily at your job, but somebody that you would work with. For example, we are colleagues. Uh huh. Okay, but can we use another word, co-worker? Co-worker is very similar. Yes, of course,、mm -hmm. we could use that co-worker. Okay. Ah,、uh, 同学刚刚提到的就是，如果是同事的话，我们还可以利用另外一个单词，就是 co-worker, C-O， 然后 worker 这个字就是同事的意思。How about next one? 
Another one is uh, assistant, and there are uh, quite a few examples here. Okay, uh, assistant. Uh, we have a teaching assistant. We have an assistant professor. And we have an assistant director. Now we see the word assistant means the same thing in each one of these terms. Means yes. somebody who helps or an associate. Mm -hmm. Somebody who helps it is not the main director. Mm -hmm. So an assistant director is somebody who helps the mm -hmm. director. Mm -hmm. OK， 呃，刚刚提到的这些单词的部分，就是比方说 teaching assistant， 就是教学助理啊，然后助理教授啊，还有另外一个就是助理导播的地方。那刚刚 Terry 老师有提到，就是有关于他是不是主要的，但是他是帮忙，比方说是帮忙导播的，或是当帮忙老师的，就是 teaching assistant。Okay, and we also have uh, another two words. One is advice, and the other one is advice. And I think uh, uh, one thing is about the noun and the verb, and the other thing is about the pronunciation. Can mm. you just uh, tell, uh, do some demonstration? Sure, well, these are definitely words that people confuse all the time. Advice mm -hmm. and advise. Mm -hmm. So we have a short I and a long I yes. in the second one. Of course, advice is a noun, mm -hmm. so you might give somebody advice. You might ask for advice. Uh -huh. It's a non-countable noun, mm -hmm. so I would ask you for advice. Mm -hmm. What is your advice on? Now, while you're giving me advice, you are actually performing the verb mm -hmm. advise. Mm -hmm. Advise, of course, is a verb. I will advise you. Mm -hmm. To do this, I would advise you to do that. Okay, okay. 我们来看一下这边的两个用法，就是同学如果想要知道就是呃单字的一个用法的话，第一个 advice， 呃单字是 c e 结尾的话，它是呃就是给你忠告或是给你一些建议。那另外的话 ，advise 这边的话是。呃，就是请，就是给你劝告，然后给你一些忠告，去做什么样的事情。那这两个字的话，一个是名词，一个是动词的用法，所以这两个字是不一样的意思。那最后呢，我们来看一下，呃，有关于至少，刚刚提到是 at least， 但事实上有一些是比较相近的一些片语的用法。At least, at most, and last but not least. Of course, we use at least. When we are talking about the smallest of something,、mm -hmm. or we might even use it to say, in the example I used before, at least today is sunny,、mm -hmm. meaning well we've had a bad day, but at least it's sunny. There's、mm -hmm. one reason. Okay. At most, of course, is the opposite, and the last one, last but not least,、mm -hmm. is、uh, a bit of an idiom, which means just because something is last、mm -hmm. doesn't mean it's the least important. Okay. 好，我们来看一下，就是呢，一个是至少，一个是至多的意思。那另外一个呢，就是呢，最后但不是最不重要的。我想这个部分可能就是同学会需要记得的一下，就是最后并不是说最不重要，所以才会有这样子一个用法。同学，我们现在接下来先请 Terry 老师帮我们做一下复习。Today we have been talking a little bit about financial advice. For studying abroad, of course, the suggestions that they gave were that you're going to need between 1,300 and 2,400 American dollars,、yes. which we talked about might not be enough, and you might require more financial、mm -hmm. advice to do so. Some of the words we looked at today have to do with exactly what we were talking about. Have to do with the financial aspect of studying、yes. abroad.、Uh, We will look at some other issues with、yes. studying in the next series. Okay, Terry, thank you very much for being with us today. Okay, thank you. See you then. Bye bye.
宇宙浩瀚，知识无穷，华视教育文化频道。